Yo, it's your boy Eli. Yo, it's Kid. And this is the E and Kid Podcast. And, and today, today, man, guess we talking about Kid. What we talking about? We talking about Saquon Barkley. And will he miss week one? But before I get into the video, you guys got to make sure to hit the like button. Doing these things will push us into the YouTube algorithm. Also, do not forget to share this video and subscribe to the channel. Now, back to the video. Like I was saying, kid, will Saquon Barkley miss week one? Before I let you um, speak, man, I just want to give some, uh, you know, a little background to what's going on with Saquon Barkley. Obviously, you know I'm a Giants fan, so we cover uh, Giants topics on the channel. So essentially, Saquon Barkley, he wants a long-term deal. There's been some issues with the Giants on getting this long-term deal done. Um, they, they're not getting giving him his desired result. They gave out a report that they were offer him $13 million. Saquon says his cap. You know, we don't really know what's going on, on with the discussions. But uh, he, he claims Saquon came out and said he's not looking for a record setting deal. He just wants to be paid what more more than the franchise tag, which is $10 million. Uh, I believe the hot maybe one of the highest paid or the highest paid running back right now is getting paid $16 million a year, which is Christian McCaffrey. But if Saquon and the Giants are not able to secure this long term deal, uh, he has to go play with the franchise tag if it's not done by Monday, 4 p.m. What do you think about that? Today. 4 p.m. Monday. And so you're 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 speculating that he's gonna sit out because he's not getting the deal he wants. So I'm not what, speculating. What, what would that what would that because he, he's still he's still not gonna get the deal. He's just sitting out for the So room. I'm not speculating it. Um somebody said he the report says he may be in jeopardy of missing week one. Um, I agree with you. It doesn't really accomplish anything. Because at because, this point, well, because like if you look at it logically, yeah. you're already tagged. So no matter what you do, it, it's null and void at this point. And they, and they tag them because they didn't want him to go to somebody else. So you tag them. So you tag somebody. I got you. You're cooked. Like you can't play for the team. Um, you're either gonna get a long term deal with us. Or you gotta pay the franchise tag. So they why are they able to win? Because I know not every player can be franchise tag. When it, when it, when it, well, what dictates whether or not you should be, you're able to do that? Oh, uh, you're allowed to franchise attack one player. Oh, once a year? Yes. Okay, so they got him because they wanted to keep and, him. Yes. And he was like on the last year of his contract? This, this is the... This so, is, this, yeah, basically. So to avoid him being traded or potentially losing him, they just tagged him and said, okay, we got you for right now. We're going to hold you. Just, yeah. I, okay, so we can get you a deal. Like like um Lamar. My thing is, I don't understand why these dudes... Me, personally, uh, I, I, I like the... And but Darrell Rivas, he was he was he was good for this. He did a lot of short term deals and a lot of tags. That's risky though. It's risky, but he did. Cause think about it. Um, this is basketball, but let's use the uh, Dennis Struder um, example. Betting on yourself could be just as risky. Cause but you could bet on yourself and get hurt. With Struder saying it's a little different because he wasn't offered a long term deal. He was offered a four year deal, which is seven million dollars. He just didn't think. He thought he was worth more than he was, and then he came back, and in terms, he got a one year well, deal. That's what I'm saying. Off of, but that, that's that's you're, you're, that's, I know, that's I know different it's a though. That's the complete it, opposite. It's a there's a there's a, there's, a, there's some comparison here. It's because similar. It's similar because sometimes players are not as good as they think they are. I remember well, um, sick on Barkley I talking about. <laughs> no, it, it is, but like sometimes, or like he gets hurt, right? But that's why he wants to some deal. So like, if I play in the NFL, because I know nothing's guaranteed. I would take like I, there would be times I would take the shorter term deal and the franchise tag but because kind of I don't I don't not really because long term deals long term deals it depends on how much is guaranteed and look the NFL nothing is set in stone there all those contracts are tra they're toilet paper they're, they're trash because remember Michael Vick got hurt after he got that hundred million dollar deal they cut that sucker down ten million those contracts no, are, I, mean I get nothing. that but it's, it depends on how you work it depends on the framework and how you work it out. That's why I always argue players in the CBA should have negotiated more players <laughs> having fully guaranteed deals instead of just wanting to smoke weed on the off season. That's a conversation for another time and another day. But what you try to do, because you can, you like, okay, right. With a franchise tag, you can tear your knee. You'll never get, you can never see a big deal or you could never get, you know, cause you may not be the same player. You can never get a long term deal ever again. That's why it's risky with signing a franchise tag, even though you get all that money for a year. 
But even with a long-term deal, even if it's kind of like screwed and messed up, it's some deals with like Matt Ryan, even though they could cut him after like three or so years, he still got 80 something million. He got most of his money up front. So he still got paid. So this is my he view. Still got this paid. is my view. And it depends on the contract. Yeah. If the contract is like you're getting most of this money up front, um, and there's, there's some protections there, fine. But these dudes, they, they really make these predatory contracts where dude really not getting that much money out of the contract. And yeah. we all know people get hurt every day in, in an yeah, affair. And it, it's only, you don't, you don't need to move a certain way and tweak your knee yeah. and that's it. Yeah. And then they say, oh, well, you're not as productive as you used to be. And here they come, yeah. they hit you with that bullshit. So that's why I'm like, sometimes, depending on the situation, it's more pragmatic to get a short-term deal or franchise tag because at least you know you're getting the money up front. Cause like let's be real, the NFL is not for long. Most of these dudes ain't and Saquon is a star, he's a special case, but most of these dudes ain't playing that long. The average lifespan is like three to four years. No, I get that. But that's why they're looking for that long term deal. Um But if you and, but if like it's kinda oxymoronic in a way, because if you I know I know why they do it, but if you're not gonna be in the league but so long, most people. Yeah. Right? It's just like I would just take the take the most of the money I can get, man, and save it and invest it. But that's, I, but that's I, why I, you're I trying tear, to. I tear my knee. But that's the point of negotiating <laughs> that long term deal with more money because you're trying to you're trying to get as much money as possible because you don't know how long you'll be in the NFL. That's why you know when they get big air, air like take a pay cut. He's like screw you. You don't care because like NBA, you get long term deal, you can tear your knee and they still can't cut you. Like Kawhi Leonard has been having knee issues. But because the money's guaranteed, he's safe. The NFL is not the same thing. Also, basketball is a little, a little more different. And this, this is, um, this is a tangent. But basketball is more ego driven because one, people can see your face. We're talking about, we're, we're, we're talking about the contracts. We're, we're, well, we're I'm just making, a, I'm just making, a, I'm just we're making. A, the, I'm making it ties. I'm making yeah. a point. So, you know, there is less incentive. One, you get paid less in the NFL, right? Yeah. You get way, way less. And two, it's like. You, there's a bunch of guys in the NFL that don't really care about winning because it's like of course this well it's harder to win there's so many things that gotta go right it ain't like in basketball you get one player and that can make the difference like Saquon is a phenomenal athlete right yes but he can't he by himself cannot alter even a good quarterback you can have a, a great quarterback but he has nobody to play around him he can't by himself drag him to victory well, like and in and, and the NBA LeBron can literally drag you he's done it to while, the finals. while while teams and it's, it's while star players can't carry it like the NFL a quarterback can carry a team more more than any other player on the roster because we've seen it we've seen Tom Brady they they were even cheap they were cheap with the Patriots but because they had Tom Brady but they were competent yeah. players they were, no, they, they were competent but my bombs. thing is they, they didn't have, have to, to keep star wide receivers and tight ends they didn't have to do they could go cheap on certain positions because they knew that Tom Brady could make most even like an, an average wide receiver look good to great but he leaves and he's not the same player I agree I so think, quarterbacks I think the wide can, receiver uh, position is the uh, most uh, overrated position yeah a quarterback can answer can um they can uh what's the word for it? impact the game in different ways because you know they can take over even if the defense is bad he can still score okay, points and tell, win tell games that to Aaron Rodgers he was been struggling for the past five six years because he has a trash but team it makes my point while they didn't win at all because you still need a great team at all he made the team look much better than it was <laughs> that team's trash the, the defense long time was trash the wide receivers had the same wide receivers seven plus years but he made the team look much better than it was because he was just just that talented but as a running back and a wide receiver especially wide receivers if your quarterback is trash it's over you, you're I, not I really think, impacting the game like that if you can get a throw to the most like overrated that. position in the nfl I really do it's still, it's, it's because needed. if you got a guy that's he he's not Ter 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 Terrell Owens level, but he's competent, right? You got a quarterback well, actually, that's great. You can use Tom Brady proof well, his actually, entire career. Uh, I think running backs are more overrated than wide receivers. Oh no, I think running backs aren't overrated. I think they're, 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 I think more, they're properly rated. I, I, they I, pay them as such. Yeah, because uh, your running backs come a dime a dozen. Sometimes it can be hard to get weapons. Um, you can be stuck with Ted Ginn Jr. He can't catch. You still need a good. You don't. I don't think you need a. I think. You don't need a star receiver necessarily, but you do need somebody who can catch I think ball. a star running back is actually more powerful, and I'll tell you why. Because when you get a star running back, it's hard to stop him, right? It, it just, and if you got that dual threat of that star running back and you got a, and you got a, a system where you can throw, that gives you a duality, whether 
that that's more dynamic than you just gotta throw. But it's, it's, all it's you a got. little it's a little different because think about all the teams that star running backs. How many how many times do they win? Well, Cause, you, cause a lot of times it you depends get, on which which part of the era of the NBA NFL you, you're talking about. I'm talking about we talking about the last couple of years. How many times have a star running back? You've had more star wide receivers win a a, tie, a championship than you had running backs because sometimes when these when these teams have star running backs, the offense is just predicated well, on the think, running game. But like the last one I can think of that was prominent was Marshawn. Marshawn. Marshawn Lynch. Yeah, Marshawn Lynch. But well, Marshawn him, Lynch, uh, come on. But outside of him, and he wasn't really carrying, at that time when they won, he wasn't carrying the team. Because when he carried the team, they didn't go far. It wasn't his fault. Remember that time he shoved eight niggas? He was carrying the team, <laughs> but they didn't win. <laughs> when they won, it was oh, he because was still, of the He was still playing at, at, He was a prominent at high level. part. He was still playing at high he level. He wasn't, well, I'm saying like, he wasn't like, we were looking at him to carry the, the, the load Let's say the, the 80s team. where you could have Walt, Walt, what's his name? Um, you talking about Walt Frazier? Yeah. Not Walt Frazier. Um, uh, uh, Walter Payton. Yeah, like back in the back in the day, the quarterback sucked, and like the running back literally carried the team. We ain't in that era no more. But I know we we kind of got like we digress. But yeah. the point is, I don't see the point of him protesting. It's already it's over. It's so it's I, at that point, um, I, I, I understand too. I don't think it's no point. Does he still get paid, but if he sits home, he still gets paid. No, he still has signed. He still has signed a franchise tag. No, no, no. If he if he stays home after they tag him, does he still get paid? No, he still has, he has to sign it. He hasn't signed it. Oh, he so has to sign if he it. doesn't sign it, then he'll sit he'll out. Just be sit, he'll be sitting out. Not it, 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 it'll just be him. Pouting. Otherwise, he'll be playing for free. He won't be playing at all. No, no. <laughs> let's say he doesn't sign the he doesn't sign the franchise tag. With He's the got to sign. But it. he no. But let's say he doesn't. And he wants to play. Can he play or no? No, I don't think. Uh, I think you have to. You have to I thought you could it. play. You just don't get paid. No, no, no. It's not how it works. Oh. So if he doesn't get the deal done by Monday, he has to sign. He has to sign a he franchise has to sign tag. Something. He has to. Uh, he has to sign a franchise tag, and he can't negotiate a long term deal until after the season is done. So at that point, him sitting out week one is just him pouting. It doesn't change anything because he just. You know how some teams. You know how some players hold out, but there, there's. They can sign a contract. Um, they can sign a contract later in that season. Yeah, this is futile because he can't sign a contract later in the season. So no matter how many games he, he misses, even if we, we start losing games, it really doesn't matter. If he comes back, he starts to sign the franchise tag. So <laughs> it'll just be him I, being I think, petty I at think that point. A move. Uh, I so, might say Quan, good player. He'll figure it out. But um, I, I, I really hope they. The fr- they how much is gonna be on the franchise tag? It's ten million dollars. Hey, he probably wants more than take that. Take it, bro. Um, <laughs> but you know they can't negotiate a long term deal. It's just at that point you just you gotta do what you gotta hey, do. Man, you the gotta economy ain't what it used to be, bro. Ten million dollars ain't nothing to sneeze at, um, especially in the NFL. But it's really dirty how you do that. The running backs, running backs should just get paid up front because we know they're going to do most of the work in their first four years. So just pay the guys up front. Give them their big contracts in the front and then later in, don't pay them like you don't pay them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you, like you don't work them. Yeah, they should get paid up front. Yeah, they should get paid up front. Quarterbacks should get paid. And then two, they produce when they get in the league. They produce immediately and after their regular rookie contract is over, usually, I ain't talking about the outliers, yes, players get paid like uh, Zeke and Christian McCaffrey and AJ Preason, but we're talking about because I know people just look at all the star running star running backs, but most running backs, like remember DeMarco Murray, he got used and abused, and then they pay him afterwards. He got some deal, but it won't the deal he was looking for. They most of the time they try where, they where do that to running that? backs or try to do that running backs. Mm-hmm. But um, I don't want to go too long. We've been talking about this for a while. But uh, if you guys like the video, make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to share the video. Sharing the video is very helpful because it gets it out to other people and it's another way to continue to push our video um, because sometimes YouTube be hating. <laughs> you know, they don't decide to push it, they won't decide to push it. Sometimes. So it, it will really help us out. <laughs> and you guys gotta make sure to subscribe to the channel. And until next time guys, we are out. Peace. Peace.